So that started for us with one of our little preschool boys. Um, he came in and was sharing his passion and his excitement about learning around Spiros. Um, so we looked at how we could try and connect uh, learning in the home, particularly around technology with what was happening in the early learning environment. Um, and then extend that into our community by connecting with one of our local um, primary schools as well. Um, so what we saw was an opportunity to um, allow the children to start to explore technology and, and things like programming, um, which we know, um, you know our society is to continue to change with the rapid rate of how technology is advancing us. A lot of children now as they enter in primary school are um, learning to do coding and, and um, programming of different um, technologies um, and we're now allowing our children to explore that at a younger age um, whilst enjoying being out in their community and learning other aspects as well. Uh, so we're obviously mindful about the research that's coming around around screen time for children, particularly under the age of two. Um, we do provide children access to technology in our nursery spaces as well, um, but our core focus has been from our two-year-olds up. For us, we look at everything holistically. Um, we have a very distributed approach to leadership at Tugra, which allows us to work with the individual strengths of our team um, and really focus on what they're passionate about and where their strengths lie, which means we can cover off a lot more things and a lot more successful across different areas having that type of approach. So we have had um, uh, one little boy at our centre who um, has level 5 cerebral palsy. He's fostered by a same-sex couple um, and so they brought him to Tugra um, so that he could have a male key educator um, and that's allowed him to have a strong male role model in his life um, while he's been able to participate in the early learning setting um, and working towards transitioning for school for him for next year. Male educators bring a lot to the environment. Um, we know that when we look in the home environment that children always respond differently to dads than they do to mums. So having a strong male role model in that boy's life has enabled him to learn different things about masculinity um, and get to have an experience that he wouldn't get in his home environment.